Molly Morning Show. Mrs. Bernice Jenkins is in the building. Oh, whoa. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Janie. Good morning. I don't know what we going to do after next Sunday after football season over with. It's gone. <laughs> It's going to be all going. The Super Bowl is going to be over because I like football. Yeah. You see them out there with them tight pants on, running, piling yeah, up on yeah. top of each other. <laughs> yeah. I just hate it so bad. How you feeling this morning? I feel fine. You know, I made some oxtails and iced potatoes yesterday. Why you didn't call, man? Your phone, your line was busy. Oh, it was. You need to got this new thing they call call waiting. You no. need to get it. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I guess I must have had it. Forgot to kick it back. Yeah. Uh huh. If you hear your line beat, <laughs> mash the button, and <laughs> it won't hang up. It'll go to the other call. Oh. Well, you know I'm getting old now. Yeah, it's called call waiting. My grandchildren ordered it for me, but now. <laughs> That's going to have my phone bill sky high. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they order all that stuff on my telephone and carrying on. I said, don't bother my phone. It's been the same number all my life. 595-9060. <laughs> That's the only phone number I had. Now they caught the thing with it calling it. Click oh, just too much. It's not that much. Just, just don't want, don't bother my stuff. Don't bother my stuff. Keep my cable the same, all this stuff. Now they got the flat screen. Can't even buy a regular TV, Jane. Uh -uh. You can do the complete choice and get all of it in a package. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh, then my bill's gone. My bill's gonna be sky high. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. No, just leave it alone. Don't bother it. Uh-huh. Then the insurance man come, he want money. Mm -hmm. you know, I got Booker T. Washington insurance. I you gonna do the announcement? A thousand dollar policy. <laughs> How much? <clears throat> Something happened to me. My family they got split up a thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, Miss Jenkins, let's do the church announcement. <laughs> okay. You know the church trying to raise money to help Brother Theodis Wiggins to save his home from foreclosure. And you know he's 93 years old and only has seven payments left to pay at all. <laughs> and he says finances has been bad ever since he had to shut down the screen door repair business in 2001. <laughs> but everybody started getting them storm doors when them Negroes started breaking in the houses. And all of a sudden the screen door business went on out. <laughs> And Mother Pearl Louise Nada is asking for special prayer for her grandnephew Apollo, who's on that show, The Housewives of Atlanta. And she said the white folks and the devil's trying to put him back in jail. Because he made all that money and spent it at the strip club. And then use none of it to pay his tithes at church. And he's scheduled to come come in this Sunday and get baptized and try to get some favor from the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame, ain't it, Janie? Yeah. And condolences go out to the Greenwood family. You know the Greenwood family? Yeah. Uh, they lost five pit bull puppies. And they was going to sell them at the church jubilee this weekend. And they had bought them to church on Saturday for choir rehearsal and had left them in the car with the wonder crack, but it was so cold, they froze to death. And they tried to bring them to, back to life by putting them in the microwave down in the fellowship. <laughs> God, it smelled like rust. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.